there's a sound in your head going on. If you ever stop and look within, there's a voice continuously going on, judging and commenting, and not this, not that, you know. So there is always a voice in the head. So when you conditioned, when you day and night recite a specific mantra again and again and again, that is one of the ways to shut the gibberish. So instead of it saying, this is right, this is wrong, this is how it is, you know, that said this to me, and I don't know what I'm going to cook in the evening, and you know, I, I cooked this a few days ago, and my husband or my partner didn't like it, you know, I went that and that, and my dog that, and there's all this stuff going on all the time. <laughs> so instead of that, which is not a productive uh, chattering, okay? We, in the beginning level, we bring in the sound. So instead of that chattering, now there's why do I do, why do I do, why do I do, Satanama, Satanama, Guru Guru, why do Guru Ram Das, what is going on now? And you hear that sound. That is a very good improvement because now you have stopped that chattering voice to a certain extent you have conditioned it, you have modified it. Now you, instead of <coughs> chattering low frequency everyday talk, now you have conditioned your mind to vibrate a higher frequency sound. Mm -hmm. That is on the first level. As you keep doing that, a time comes when even at night in your sleep, you start hearing mantras. Mm -hmm. You start meditating. You see yourself meditating in your dream. That means that you have really dived deeper and you know your aura is all yellow on this side. Yes, it's so orange on this side. Yeah, okay, <clears throat> very bright. And it goes so deep, so deep, <clears throat> that slowly and slowly it from, still it's a chapter. But it's a positive chatter, you understand? Because mind has to chatter, so that's giving better thing to chatter, you know? So that, that's the frequency. Now you have uplifted the frequency. So this is still on the mind of the level, level of the mind. First is why group, why group, you're externally doing it. This is mantra on the tangible, on the physical level. Why group, why group, every two hours, two and a half hours, you're sitting and doing a kriya, you know, whatever. Satanama, Satanama, Satanama. This is the physical realm of yours and physical realm of the mantra. Hmm? Then it goes deeper into you. You start to hear it within. Now you have brought that mantra deeper into your next realm. You have housed the mantra. You have been pregnant with the sound current. The pregnancy is happening now. It's growing. And now you enter the realm of the mind. Then, as time passes by, it enters deeper into your unconscious mind. That's when you start seeing yourself meditating or in a spiritual experience in a, in a dream. Not necessarily you will recite the same mantra, but you may go to a sacred site. You may see yourself in the mountains. You may see yourself sitting in the ocean and meditating and, you know, had a good vision or whatever. So this is, means that you are now entering the deeper realms of your unconscious and your subconscious mind. To have any spiritual experience in a dream is a very powerful, it's a very evolved level of uh, meditation. There have been many yogis who were initiated in their dreams and their life changed. You know, Guru Ram Das came to their dream and he was initiated by Guru Ram Das and the whole life changed next day. Because there are different levels of uh, reality. You know, it's not just this reality, there's another reality, there's another reality. So as it goes deeper, and then it enters the next realm, which is the energetic realm, where you start hearing a mantra within and also outside. The starts to, you know, resound back to you, to your mantra. Because you are one. If you are open, you're receptive, you know, you start attracting good people into your life, you know, everything starts changing. This is now mantra, is modifying your existence. It has become part of your existence. Because it's high frequency, it's lifting your frequency. You know, things start opening up, everything. And sometimes in the beginning, when, because the mantra pushes you very karmically, sometimes in the beginning, 
some certain incidents happen that are not so good. Once a while, the people who experience this that. Because the mantra has taken its force. What karma you can experience in 12 years, the karma is going to be amplified and it will be experienced in just a few months to finish it off. So sometimes people run away. Like, look, I've been meditating, you know, and how come this incident happened? It never happened before. Because the mantra amplified your experience of karma. What is to be experienced in 12 years, it reduces to one year, frees you off so that you can have a faster growth. It happens like that. And then slowly and slowly, you start to hear the, uh, the, uh, the mantra in your breath. Without your involvement, you, you and, and what the mantra, now what the mantra represents, for example, Vaheguru means ecstasy. Okay? A time comes when you start to experience what the mantra is all about. The voice may have stopped now. Vaheguru, another translation which Yogiji gives is Wow, I'm the great spirit. That's what it means. Wow, I'm the great spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm all. When the mantra really goes into full pregnancy, the sound stops. The meaning of the mantra manifests in your life. You are wow all the time. The sound is no more there. You know, the sound has merged. Because as long as you hear the sound, you're still in a tangible world. It has become a living experience. Wow. You're always in a state of wow. That is experiencing Vahiguru in its ultimate bloom. We have yogis in India. Yeah, so they go beyond the physical body and the mind body. They start to have a direct experience of the totality where the limitations of the body and the mind is no more experienced. Okay? That is the full pregnancy. That is the full pregnancy where just like you feel yourself physically, you are still there when this body and this mind is not. And of course that existence there, it has nothing to do with the way you have visualized yourself in the body. You understand? All your memory in relationship to you as in this body is no more there. You are now in totality. You are one with the sun. You experience the oneness of the sun. What's your name? Catherine. You are no more Catherine. <laughs> and all the memory associated with this personality called Catherine, you were so and so's daughter, so and so's you know, friend, so and so's you know, whatever, it's no more there. Because it's just a small chapter of the life. Now you have seen the book and you are beyond the book. You wrote that book. Before that you were in the book, you were such a small chapter in the book. You are experiencing what was written in the book. Now you are the one who wrote this book. And that space you and me are also one. That experience comes. And there is no, there's no sound, there is no sense of knowing. It's all being. That space comes. Slowly and slowly, not necessarily in one lifetime, after many, many lifetimes, you reach that state. And when you know that, there's nothing left to be known. That is called universal realization. Where God and me, me and God have become one. There's no other. There's just one empty space and just the empty space. But not this empty space. It's, it's, it's totally different. Here. This is just to make you, this is what you can, what we can experience or what can relate to that. This is the only thing we have. But it's not just you become an empty space. It's, it's more than that. Okay, so as you become, go deeper and deeper and deeper into this realization, you know, you just stop dropping yourself and start knowing yourself. Real knowing comes. Who am I? And what are you? Cannot be expressed, cannot be thought, cannot be pointed. You are you. I am what I am, that is that. Have you heard that song? Oh, yes. 
This is what it means. Not, not this I am. Not this I am. I am what I am. That is that. Yeah. So that is the outcome of the mantra. 